Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Trooper in the Blind, when we last left off. <laughs> fuse, 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 unfortunately, perished in the explosions. <sighs> but still, we have to move on, we need to go and speak to, um, what's her face, I forget her name, Garza. So let's do that right now. Lieutenant, thank you for calling. From what I hear, you've been very busy. We have quite a bit to discuss. First, congratulations on stopping the bombings in Anchorhead. Mayor Claren was both impressed and grateful. Well done. Oh, of course, I forget. I keep forgetting sometimes this is a trooper in the blind. I keep looking for the dialogue world, but of course it's there in the corner. These rim rats are easy to impress. True. But good work is good work, regardless. I also understand that you not only located Fuse, but routed an entire Imperial Research Facility in the process. Lieutenant Tasser filed his report only moments ago, actually. I'm sorry he and his men couldn't arrive sooner. You damn right better be sorry. Lieutenant Tasser was very helpful, General. He wasn't! I'm glad to hear it. Tasser described the Imperial Facility as a flaming graveyard. And I understand Fuse was among the deceased. Yeah. I'll admit I'm a bit confused by that turn of events. According to Mayor Claren, Fuse cooperated and was instrumental in your operation. Yeah, but it was either one life compared to so many. The Imperial base was rigged to detonate. Fuse insisted I leave him behind to stop Gorik. That was very noble of him. What about the bomb designs that Fuse created for the Imperials? Were you able to retrieve a copy? Fuse died to make sure we got these designs. Then we'd best make good use of them. I'll download them to Coruscant for review. I have nothing further for you, Lieutenant. Carry on with your mission and keep up the good work. Garza out. Well, you are gonna have more for me soon because I'm going to Alderaan. And there we go, we have the story mission completed for Tatooine! What should we go for this time? What is this gun? Uh, I'm gonna lose a lot of power there. Mm, because of course you got my uh, my color crystal. Although I could take the color crystal out, can't I? Although how much is it? Really, how much is it going to cost me? I dread to think how much it's going to cost me. Yeah, let's take a look. Seven thousand, which I don't have. God damn it! I'm going to have to keep that now. That see, I don't want to lose all that power because all that power is well. You just don't want to lose it. Uh, what should we go for? We shall go for that again. Thank you very much. Um, basically, when this basically this is going to be the second to last episode before I finish up for this year. Next week's episode will be a feature length episode, just like the Imperial Agent. But when I come back in January, hopefully I'll have all my abilities respect and everything because of course you've got disciplines coming in so hopefully I'll know a lot more about what I'm doing when I have these um when the new abilities and the new ability system comes into place. Uh right, should we speak to Eric? Because Eric would like to speak to us. Inventory report, sir. Food and medical supplies all look good, but our munitions are getting low. Thought we'd have enough to last us a year. Already requisitioned command for more. Guess I shouldn't be too surprised. See more action one day with Havoc than you see in a month with the Dead Eyes. It's still fun. What kind of work did you do for the Dead Eyes? We mainly ran decapitation strikes, neutralized enemy commanders before Republic offensive, left the opposition leaderless, disorganized. Sometimes, we'd camp outside the enemy's base for weeks, waiting for a clear shot. Eventually, we'd hit our target, pull out, let the ground pounders mop up. You must have chalked up quite a kill count. Over two dozen confirmed. Ooh. Eventually I was offered a promotion and a post on Ord Mantell. I took it. Smart move career-wise. More men, more responsibility. But I wasn't interested in fighting Separatists. Must have been an awkward transition. One day I'm picking off Imperial Brass, the next I'm pacifying mobs of angry Seps. After my transfer, Commander the Deadeyes fell to my XO, Torf. Smart kid. A little green. But the potential was there. You weren't sure I was fit to lead, and look how I turned out. Terrible! Point taken, sir. Come to think of it, I haven't been in contact with the Dead Eyes for a while. I should find out where they're stationed, catch up. Would not be surprised if uh, he finds out where they are stationed and he's like, Can we go? You gotta come with me, though. Um, what was I actually going to say? I completely forgot. There was something about what Eric said that kind of intrigued me. 
I guess I'll remember in a minute. <laughs> and here we are on our way to Alderaan. Has every class got a different sort of music that plays in the background when we're uh, doing the selection of your planets? I, I don't really know. I can't remember what Eric, what I was thinking about when Eric said something. God damn it. <sighs> Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. I understand you've just set down on Alderaan. Well, I'm still above the, the planet. The situation on Alderaan is highly complicated. The world's ruling families are mired in a civil war for control of the planet. House Organa supports the Republic, so they're our primary ally. Your mission against the Havoc Traders is priority one, but try to aid the Organas where you can as well. Who will I be aiding House Organa against? The Empire supports House Organa's rival, House Thule. Thule was banished from Alderaan, but with the Empire's support, they've returned to make an attempt for control of the planet. Does this sort of thing happen a lot on Alderaan? Not at all. The succession of Alderaan's throne has been decided peacefully for centuries. So why is the change? Your primary mission. Your target is Gearbox. A captured Thule nobleman has revealed his presence to our House Organa allies. Apparently, Gearbox is aiding House Thule and the Empire in their effort to take control of Alderaan, though we don't yet know the full nature of that assistance. Why does Gearbox sound familiar? I'll ascertain Gearbox's objective immediately, General. If it's something of interest, certainly recover what records you can, but your main objective remains the man himself. You should speak to the Thule nobleman that House Organa captured, and see if you can get more information from him. The Thule prisoner is being held in isolation at House Organa's estate. I left strict instructions that no one interact with him further until you arrive. Are there any limitations on questioning the prisoner? I'll leave that to your discretion, Lieutenant. But this man is currently our only link to Gearbox. We wouldn't want to waste that. The overseer at Organa's detention center is a man named Bala Cormac, a captain in their house military. He will be your primary contact. That's it, Lieutenant. Question the prisoner, determine Gearbox's whereabouts, and neutralize him. Understood? Am I going to do this, or are we going to talk all day? No, I think I've spent enough time speaking with you for the time being. Okay, then. Good luck, Lieutenant. Garza out. I remember what I was going to say now. When when uh, Eric said, oh, I've killed two dozen people. Yeah, you've now killed a lot more than that. I mean, before you met me, yeah, you killed two dozen. But now that you've met me... I'm afraid you've killed probably hundreds. Although, actually, my achievements would say what, how many you've killed. Where am I going? Going down here. Yeah, why does Gearbox sound very familiar? I, uh, have I encountered Gearbox on another class? Probably. It really does sound familiar. Um, I don't want you guys to tell me, because hopefully I'll encounter Gearbox in this episode. But I swear, once I, once I know what he looks like, I'll probably recognise him. But I guess we'll find out soon. Oh, of course I know who Gearbox is. I can't believe I forgot that. See, I'm so used to being Havoc Squad that I for kind of forgot we're hunting the original Havoc Squad. It's got to that point. Because Fuse was sort of... Yeah, he was a Havoc Squad traitor, but he wanted to come back to the other side. I kind of forgot about the original Havoc Squad. So I can't... Uh, I know who Gearbox is. Don't worry about it. Don't bother telling me comments on who Gearbox is. I know who he is now. Ah, oh, but I don't want to go to the detention centre. I don't want a detention. <sighs> Does anyone remember detention? If you're not, if you're no longer in school anymore, do you remember what detentions were like for you? I mean, what it was for me is if you you would get detention and then you would literally go to this room in another building and then you would for for us you would either write out lines. Uh, from we had like this little booklet, um, like and we had like inside the booklet, it was like a school booklet that we that we had to carry around, and inside it, it had our code of conduct. We had to write out the code of conduct until we were finished, and it was about two pages long. So it take you about a good 20, 25 minutes. So you were there for a good amount of time. Um, but sometimes detentions vary because there was one time when I got detention, and we were having a charity thing, and my detention was to work at that charity thing to take money's people's money people's money yeah people's money for charity i thought well that's not really a detention is it um so i i don't really know it was it was it was but it wasn't so there we are if you've ever had a detention tell me 
What was the worst thing you've done to get attention? Now, why are there two mailboxes? I, I don't really know. Yeah, tell me, what is the worst thing you have done to get a detention? I, I don't think I can recall the worst thing I've ever done. Eh, we'll see if I can remember. See, that's the thing. Every, my, my school days were so long ago that I just don't even remember it anymore. I don't remember my, uh, my school... Oh, yeah, of course! I completed the Jedi Knight, haven't I? I have three of these now! Oh, this is awesome! I forgot about that. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Do I have another heroic moment ability? I'm, I thought I would. Surely I do. Surely I do. Surely I do. There we are! Legacy Force Sweep! I have another one now because I completed the Jedi Knight! Oh, yeah! Uh, by the way, can I just say, the Jedi Knight story, really good up until the end. I'm not going to spoil it, but, you know, chapter one, the build-up, brilliant. Chapter two, build-up, brilliant. Three. Hold, hold up a minute, friend. The detention area is restricted. I'm going to need to see some identification before you come in here. You must be Captain Cormac. General Garza sent me. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you. We, uh... Well, your general told us someone was coming, but he didn't say who. You'll be wanting to talk to our esteemed guest from House Thule, won't you? He's a tough one. We worked him over a dozen times and he still won't talk. Did you just say he? Don't you mean she? I thought he mentioned a man called Gearbox. Well, yeah, besides that, he mentioned the Gearbox fellow as soon as we brought him in. The man's name is Marcus Thule. He did tell us that much. Our boys caught old Marcus sneaking into the castle with a dozen Imperial commandos, set on cutting the head of House Organa into Throntobate. Sounds like fun. Was anyone in House Organa harmed? Nobody in the family was hurt. But a bunch of guards went down in the fighting. It was bad, Lieutenant. Really bad. Really bad. Anyways, as soon as we got the shock cuffs on him, Marcus starts in on the gearbox stuff. Critical intelligence, Republic Special Forces will want to know. That sort of thing. That's when we called your people. Let's see if this guy won't spare a few words for me. Absolutely, sir. Sorry to have held you up so long. Marcus is in holding cell 5, Lieutenant. I've set the security door to grant you access whenever you're ready. But the only reason why I did the Jedi Knight story is so that I played it before Shadow of Revan. Um, because there's stuff which kind of relates to everything that's going on in Shadow of Revan. Um, yeah, but yeah, the very first chapter built itself up really nicely. The second chapter built itself up really nicely. And then the third one, the, it was kind of a letdown. The, 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 it built itself up, but then the final battle was just... Was just just a bit of a letdown, to be honest, and it kind of the story feels a little bit unfinished, and I hope they rectify that with that one class mission they have in Shadow of Revan. So they better not screw it up. Anyway, so a visitor, welcome. I am Marcus and Darius Thule. Hello. Your aspect and equipment are not those of House Organa. Whom do you represent? Instead of my friends, let's talk about yours, like Gearbox. A soldier, clearly, and not of House Organa, but someone Organa allows to speak with their prisoners. Someone from the Republic. Ask any questions you wish. The answers will only come when you've done what I require. You what? I can tell you all about Gearbox, the Empire, and their activities. But before I help you, you must help me. I want protection for my wife and daughter. I can't help you until I know your intel is good. And I cannot help you until I know that my family is safe. My wife and daughter, they still live amongst my house and amongst the Imperials. If I tell you what I know, they will suffer for that betrayal. I won't allow this. So until my family is safe, I can tell you nothing. Your family isn't my problem. I understand that, which is why I cannot trust you to rescue them once I've revealed what I know. Perhaps a compromise. I tell you part of what I know to prove the veracity of my claims. If you find that my intelligence is accurate, you help my family. After which, I will tell you exactly how to locate Gearbox. I'll hear you out, Thule. But this better be good. Among other projects, Gearbox has helped construct a hidden, highly sophisticated missile battery capable of eradicating any Organa force that approaches Thule territory. Really? Destroying this missile battery would greatly benefit your Organa allies and prove how accurate my information is. All you need do for the rest is protect my wife and daughter. Surely it would be better to just steal the battery. You better not be wasting my time. 
I'm not. You'll see. Farewell. I swear M1 likes everything I say. I mean, ugh, come on M1. Did, is there anything you don't like that I say? I, I don't I don't know. Really don't know if I get anything good for me. I don't. Who can use cunning? Isn't there someone who can use cunning? It might be a Lara actually. Ready? Uh, ba 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 ba. Okay, it's not a Lara. Wait, does, wait. Does everyone use aim? Ready. Everyone uses aim. What the hell? Yes, sir. Why is that? Reporting for duty. Why is that? That that. What? You what? I. Uh, so basically. Basically, when I get some, when I get something for aim, all my companions and me are going to be fighting all over it. That's just bogus. I gotta say, Lieutenant, you're something else. Until you showed up, Marcus had barely spouted twenty words at us. Don't know about this business with Marcus's wife and daughter, though. The boys upstairs may not approve of cutting deals with this guy. Your superior's opinions have no impact on my mission. Okay, sure, but these guys can make life very hard. Believe me. Just figured I'd warn you now. They haven't met me. So what about Marcus's story? All of this missile launcher business. You think he's telling the truth? I don't think he's lying to us. Me neither, actually. I generally don't trust Thules as a rule, of course. But I get the feeling this guy's too good for lying. Well, good luck out there, friend. Who knows? Maybe you'll find some clues about this gearbox guy. I'll keep an eye on Marcus while you're gone. Okay, well you, you do that then. So, we need to destroy the missile batteries, which are... Oh, the way over there. For God's sake. Going back to an earlier topic when I was saying about detentions, probably the worst thing I've ever done is not do my homework because I just... I couldn't be bothered with that crap. Come on. The, the amount of homework our teacher would give us, and we just... It would practically take up our whole time. Why have we got to do homework? What, I, uh, there is no point for it. We're at school to learn. At school to learn. Most of us was, uh, was there to learn. And they don't really give us homework because there are so many other people who didn't want to learn because they wanted to mess around. I wasn't one of those people. I wa well, I didn't want to learn. I had to learn. So surely, well, I, <sighs> my homework took up most of my free time. So that's why I didn't bother doing it. And some of the homework they didn't even cover with uh, in our classes anyway, so that's why I didn't even bother with it, to be honest with you. And here we are, righty ho. So, oh, why, I was going to say, why aren't I stopping? Because I was pressing the wrong button. Now, we need to... Oh, okay, I was going to say if we can sneak by, but we can't. Oh dear, I've attracted their attention as well. That isn't good. And I'm about to die. Never mind though. Yeah, that was inevitable because I kind of attracted both of their attention. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to find my way around to get to there. But it didn't work out for me. You know what they need? They need actual snipers in these bushes so that you you won't even expect these when you're, I don't know, coming through, you know, you killed all these and all of a sudden snipers come out of the ambush and you know, that'd be cool, but they won't do that because they're boring. And mortar volley! Boom, 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 boom. Wonderful. You what? I don't even know what you just said there. I don't really care, to be honest. Uh, and then you, the strong ability, the strong ability, the strong person. I'm not even bothering with my abilities correctly. It's my fault. I'm about to die again, but never mind. Because I'll just use that ability, and then you die. Wonderful. And then we shall use the. Oh, I was going to say, can we get there without the atten getting, getting the attention of them? We can indeed. Voila. And now we need three more batteries. Can we avoid any attention? Can we avoid any attention? We can. Ha ha ha. Although I can't find any more batteries. Hmm. Can yeah, actually, actually. Can you see any more batteries? What? Over there? Wow! Let's go! Ah, but I'm gonna have to kill these guys. Although I could probably do that with another mortar volley. 
Boom, 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 boom. Wait, 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 wait. I was, go I was gonna say this. Somebody just disappeared, but it was just you. Oh dear, I've attracted the attention of the viewers. Well, god damn it. Uh, this is why I need a Lara out because she heals me. Uh, I'm gonna have to kill you before I can actually get to that one up there. Nobody better come along and steal that one. I was, I'm gonna be very angry. Very angry. You bastard. I could really do with this one reappearing right now. Could really do with it. Oh, I got new mail. Oh, I wonder how much mail I have. I don't really know. Because I haven't seen, I haven't even looked at my mailbox in a long time. Uh, aha! I found another one, but probably somebody's going to take it in a minute. And I can't jump up there. God damn it. Ah, but I can probably jump over here. Come on, there we go. I should probably actually destroy the battery before someone else comes along. Thank you. And then kill all of ya. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, M1! You disappoint me! You disappoint me! You got caught in the battle with them! I'm gonna have to run now and run to that one and just try and disappear. God damn you, M1! Please ignore me, 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 please ignore me! There we go, disable the missile command center which is over there. I'm gonna die but I don't really care because I'm going to the center anyway. Tell you what though, that's practically how I got through Jedi Knight. <laughs> I would just run through hordes of enemies just to get to my objective and then run as fast as I could. Yeah, that was that was my idea of uh, questing when I was in a Jedi Knight. It's a ton of fun and it was a, a nightmare at the same time. Right, now that's that sorted out the way with, and now we've got some more enemies to kill. We shall do just that with... Get in there, get in there. There we go. Mortar volley! Ah, uh, it's so satisfying to mortar volley about three, four enemies at the same time. So satisfying. And you are dead. Oh my god, we actually killed people without dying? Well, we better do. And this time... Pulse cannon! Oh yeah! Let's have a mortal volley or pulse cannon, it's just so satisfying. That's you down. And there we go! Simple as. Simple as. Let me pick that up. Wonderful. Now what? Now what? I'm I'm here. It it's it's here. It it's here. It unless it's is it upstairs? Better not be. I was just killed those enemies for nothing. God damn it, it's through here. God damn you, game! I killed those for nothing. Oh, hello. Uh. Hello. Okay, it's just you guys. That's fine. Mortal Volley! I was gonna say, I didn't think that was working to begin with. Oh, hello. You just came out of nowhere. Uh. You can blow up. I'll smack you in the face. Like so. Complete the bonus mission. I didn't even know I was going to do that, but there we are. And blow you up. And wonderful. Right, I better heal myself in case there's a battle along the way. You with me, probably going to be. And now we shall disable the missile command center. Recorded message begins. Contact Forward primary. Barry. This is primary. I've got some fresh ballistic data for the MR3s you've got loaded down there. Look at him. Smugly going about his treasonous business. He actually thinks he's safe from justice. That his crimes against liberty and freedom will go unanswered. Looks like Marcus was honest on all points. Then it's only a matter of time until we make Gearbox pay for betraying the Republic. We've been doing some testing for Project B and worked out new results for your range wrecks. You want to nudge those MR3s a good 0 0.053 degrees positive lateral to get clean hits on Zone 3. I have no idea what that means. Stay sharp out there, kids. Maybe once Project B is complete, we'll have you over for a little demonstration. Primary out. Project B? What could that be, Lieutenant? A bioweapon? A vector for chemical agents, perhaps? Or could it be something even more dangerous and sadistic? Not sure, Forex. I suspect the prisoner could tell us more. If anyone can get him to reveal the truth, it's you, Lieutenant. I will follow your lead, sir. 
you kind of have no choice to follow my read. Um, follow my read? What? Follow my lead. If there's one thing which I'm kind of a bit curious about, why is it in subtitles when they say like 4x, they actually put, they actually spell it F-O-R-E-X as in 4x? Why can't, surely it'd be easier just to do the number 4 and then x? But some, some people actually go to extreme lengths. It's like 2VR8. They actually put T-O-O-V-E-E. -E. Why? Just say, just do a 2 and then do a V. Surely that'd be tons easier. I don't get Bioware. What? Sometimes they do it. I don't know. Let's check my mail while I'm here anyway. Uh, General Gaza. Lieutenant Tasser or Taser, I don't know, managed to recover Fuse's remains from the rubble on Tatooine. To keep up appearances, he'll be given an official burial. His record will show that he was killed in a transport crash. Why do you need to lie about it? Surely you don't... Why lie? That means he's not going to get the hero's burial that he properly deserves. Because he... He's a hero. He's a hero in my eyes. God damn it, Fuse, why? Yeah, that's right. You clean those floors, you filthy, filthy peasant. With your hand. Okay, bye now. Captain Cormac. I did the mission. Oh, who are you? Palos Organa. Captain Cormac, I really don't believe I can make myself much clearer than... Lieutenant, welcome back, sir. How did your mission go? You know, destroying that giant missile battery that threatened our house, sir? Is everything all right, Cormac? Oh, of course it is, Lieutenant. Especially knowing that you pulled off such a dangerous mission against Thule and the Imperials. <clears throat> yes. Allow me to extend the fondest gratitude of our noble House of Organa for your heroic assistance, Lieutenant. I am Palos Theseus Organa, first nephew to His Highness the Great Duke of Organa. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. The first nephew to His Highness the Great Duke of Organa. I don't know. So you're a real Organa, huh? <clears throat> yes, that is quite correct, Lieutenant. I'm told that you have spent some time in the company of a prisoner detained herein, one Marcus Thule. This man is of no small consequence to our house, as you may well be aware. What is your interest in him? Well, he was part of Harrick's squad. Marcus has vital intelligence for my operation. Uh, not Marcus Gearbox, really there. Well... House Organa is more than pleased to offer whatever assistance we can to our noble allies in the Galactic Republic. However, I must ask what you have promised this man in exchange for his vital intelligence. You have promised him something, haven't you? Yeah, to save his family. Begging your pardon, sir, but I really can't discuss mission details. Your mistrust saddens me. Are we not allies? Can we not confide in one another? Well... I'm afraid that house business compels me elsewhere, so I must take my leave of you, Lieutenant. But let me make something clear. Marcus Thule attempted to murder the head of our house. He will not be pardoned for his crime. I'll be the decider of that. Sorry about that. I tried to calm him down, but to Palos, you're just a stranger buddying up with the guy who tried to kill his family. Not buddying up with him. I need Palos off my back, Cormac. I can't do this without Marcus. Well, I'll try, Lieutenant. But I really don't have much say against people in the family like Palos. I've been watching Marcus since you left. I don't think he's made a sound or moved a centimeter. Still, I'm sure he's been looking forward to your next visit. I'll be out here if you need anything. You mean he's been sat there, not even scratching his nose. He's just been sat there in a stationary position. Really? <sighs> anyway, anyway. You've returned. I trust everything was as I described. I have now proven the accuracy of my knowledge, as well as my intentions. Before I share any more intelligence on Gearbox, you must rescue my wife and daughter. Nobody gets rescued until I know what Gearbox is up to with Project B. I have stated the price of further intelligence. Until you rescue my wife and daughter, we have nothing further to discuss. Until you tell me... What I need to know, I'm not rescuing your wife and daughter. What am I supposed to do? Bring them here? Absolutely. I must see firsthand that they are unharmed. My wife and daughter can be found at our family manor. I'll provide you with the coordinates. They must not be recognized while traveling with you. You'll need to acquire disguises of some kind. Of course I do. Is there anything else you want? As long as you're dreaming? 
My family and I have a code word for situations such as this. Speaking it will prove that you are acting on my behalf. Tyroven, remember the word well. I'll not have you harming Altana or Valen to gain their cooperation when you could simply speak a word. Those are their names? Correct. Altana is my wife, and Valen, my daughter. If you fail to deliver Altana and Valen to me alive and well, I will never tell you anything. Never. I'll try. Now go. We will only speak further when I see my wife and daughter safely before me. Don't move a centimeter. Not even a millicentimeter. That's not even a thing, is it? A millimeter. Millicent. Why the hell is that? Oh. Shut up, Charlie. So I guess that's it then. Nothing for it but to rescue the wife and daughter, huh? Stop listening in! This really isn't what I signed up for. Hey, I know the feeling, Lieutenant. Believe me. I've, I've got you some cloaks here, sir. To disguise the ladies, I mean. It's going to be tough getting to those ladies. There's bound to be loads of guards, Imperial and Thule, in every direction. I wasn't looking for your input. <laughs> um, sorry, just trying to help. I'm sorry. Luck, Lieutenant. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to have a go with you like that. I, I don't know what came over me. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, right. How far have we got to travel this time? Oh my god. Oh my god. I have got to go all the way over here because there was no travel point anywhere near here. Then I gotta go all the way up there. <sighs> Why? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is the one thing I hate about double X uh, 12 times XP is that it takes forever to get anywhere. For God's sake. I never did check to see what new abilities I had as well. Anyway, we've got stick growth rank 6. We have speed of piloting rank 2 now. Wonderful. Uh, diversion reduces the threat towards all kind of enemies. I should probably keep that to the side because I shall need that considering uh, M1 is my tank, Eon Cell rank 3, and Sonic Round. Fires a Sonic Round that taunts your target and oh, not a tank, so I don't need that. I'll keep it to the side again. Wonderful. Let us move on. Let's jump down the fun way. Whee! And I'm, I'm still alive. Hooray! Righto, I shall see you guys in probably 10 minutes while I travel all the way over there. Wonderful. I'm going to have so much fun. <laughs> Although stupid me, of course, that's where the Republic base is, isn't it? And I completely forgot about it. <sighs> it's my own fault. Let's be honest. Even if I got the taxi terminal from that Republic base, even this is just absolutely agonizing. I've gone the completely wrong way, but at least we've explored that area. Woo! But this is just... C come on, game. You, you can't be serious. I, this better not be all the way through. You better not penalize a trooper in this way so that it's the furthest away from everything. Because so far it's felt like that all my objectives have been so far away. So please, please, can I just change? Uh, where am I actually going? Uh, maybe I do have to go that way then. Oh, come on, stop doing this to me. Oh, come on now. This isn't even the right way either. Screw it, I'm going to try and cut over. Even if it means I die, I am just cutting over. I've had enough of this. This is just... <sighs> Although I don't know how I plan to cut over. And I'm now stuck. Oh dear, I nearly fell to my death. Um, but I'm going to try. I'll try my best. If I go along this rocky slope. I think it's over there I've got to go. So if I just climb across here and then slowly drop down... I should be able, although, that's, ooh, 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 slow, 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 yeah, slow, slowly, slow, I'm, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, right, okay, okay, so, um, how am I going to do this, I need to somehow, and I've left the chat up, but I'll get rid of that later on, I somehow need to make my way down there, uh, okay, this is work. This works. That'll work. Yeah, I'll just heal myself up and then just make my way down to the water. Simple as. That's why we need swimming, so we can just safely jump down into the water. Although, you know, 
might not be that safe, you know, you'd have to have to jump pretty far and we can't really do that, can we? Oh well. And I'll just stroll down like that. Simple as, and now I can make it to my objective. Wootness! And apparently my objective is up those steps so I don't even have to travel very far. I was able to skip all those enemies that would have been in my array originally. Wonderful. Uh, and I've got to go through this door. Havoc squad. In indeed, Havoc Squad. Howdy. Stay back. Who are you? What do you want from us? I'm here to Does save you. Real Organa soldiers look like, Mum. How fierce! Stay behind me, daughter. I won't let you be taken from me. Who the hell says that? Stay behind me, daughter. What? We aren't that frightening, are we? It is only right that the enemies of freedom and liberty should fear us, Lieutenant. We aggressively defend what they seek to destroy. Okay. Why have you come here? What are you going to do to us? Your worthless husband won't talk until you're safe. But he gave me a password. Tyrovan. Tyrovan? The code word. Marcus, he's still alive. We have to go to him, Mum. We have to. But... But how will we make the journey? We'll be spotted traveling with this soldier, marked as traitors to House Thule, to the Empire. I thought of that. I want to see your father again as much as you do, dearest, but we must think these things through. Wear these cloaks. They should hide your identities. Well, I... I suppose, if we have no other choice... I'm trying to save you, goddammit! We're going to go now, so this would be a good time to shut up. Don't mope, Mum. This is going to be so exciting. Let's go. Yes, yes. Traveling through a whole bunch of enemies that can kill you. Exciting. I ain't got to go far for the extraction then. I've only got to go over there. I can do tons of things in that time. i got half an hour. What? Okay. Oh, here I am on a speeder, and then there's those two chasing after me, trying to keep up. Oh, that is so funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, run! Yes, yes, I'm being murdered. It's so exciting. Run, 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 run. Ignore them. Just run. Just keep on running. Just keep running, and I've gone past the extraction point. God damn it. Ha ha! I managed to sneak my way through. But now I was almost stuck again, which fortunately I'm okay though. Although I've got to kill you, otherwise I may fail this mission. Although if I'm awesome, I believe this is happening to me. This is amazing. Shut up! You are, are you nuts? I I think she has actually gone nuts. Um, I was gonna say, have I gone the wrong way again? This time I haven't. No, I so I I need to avoid you, you guys, and then make my way around here without being killed. Oh God! Damn it. Damn it to hell. How are they doing on health anyway? Really? They have one out of one health? So they could die instantly. That is not good. And I believe we have made it to the extraction. Can we do it without attracting the attention of anyone? No, we cannot. Are you trying to get us killed? Yes. Yes, I am. Because it would be so much easier if you just died. Uh, oh, come on. Evade. Evade. Bloody evade. God damn you. Ah. This has been another there episode today. It's it's because this episode, is, this, this, my day has just been just been kind of horrible, to be honest. And I've not really liked the day. The day has just been battering me because my my bike's got a flat tire. And, uh, uh, my day. Bye bye. Why does everybody do that weird hand thing? Even non Jedi. I don't get it. You gonna bring me with you? No. no? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Bye. And before I make my way back, I am going to that quick travel post. 
Because oh, I get the feeling I'm going to have to come back to roughly around this area anyway. Right, I got you your family back. Now give me the bloody information I want. My men are dying for House Organa, Senator. Oh, well. <laughs> I need something more definite than Well, 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 leave Alderaan to Boris Olgo? If your men want a few more battles, it might help. For a world that isn't sure about the Republic? I'll be sure to pass that along. The hell was that about? Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, hello there, ladies. Uh, welcome to the detention center. Where's Marcus? You're holding him prisoner in this horrid place, aren't you? I insist that you take me to him at once. Not exactly horrid. Lieutenant, what's the call here? You think it's safe to let him in? We're talking about a prison cell. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> Good point, sir. Good point. All right. Take the ladies on in. Cell's open. Let's move along. I want to bring this nightmarish journey to a close. Don't be such a crank, Mum. Enjoy the adventure. We're going to see Father. You're so weird. Yes, the only thing that brings me comfort in our impending doom. Let's find out what these beasts have done to my Marcus. They're not beasts. They're kind of nice people once you get to know them, you know. Just saying. Marcus! Father was so happy to see you. Altana, Valen. I'm sorry to have put you through all of this. Was your journey a safe one? Are you injured? We are uninjured, husband. This beast you sent for us was more savage than those we encountered along the way. Excuse me? It really was the most exciting adventure of our lives, father. Thank you. Excuse me? I did all the work. You should be thanking me. Yes, but father is the one who sent you. He truly is the most wonderful father in all the galaxy. You have carried out your end of the agreement. With Altana and Valen safe, I can tell you everything you wish to know. Marcus! Our house is no longer ours, dear. It is a puppet, and nothing more. The two of you are my only concern now. Listen closely, soldier. Gearbox is working inside a highly secure bunker, hidden in the mountains. A direct assault is impossible. The bunker's force fields are impenetrable. But if you raid the generator facility that powers it, you should be able to shut the defenses down. Give me the details. The generator's facility powers all of the bunker's outer defenses. It's well hidden, but I can provide you with its exact coordinates. As for Gearbox himself, I cannot offer any further information. His Project B was kept a secret even from House Thule's highest nobleman. However, he promised that Project B would single-handedly turn the tide of the conflict. Whatever it is, Project B is dangerous. You'd better not be holding out on me, Marcus. I've told you all I know. The rest is up to you. Our arrangement is concluded. If you'll excuse us, I'd like to spend some time alone with my family now. I hate your family. They're... Oh well, I can get myself another. Oh, I gain a legacy level. Woohoo! Legacy level 35. I am halfway to 40. Wonderful. I shall take that and use it as my other implant. So, that has been Trooper in the Blind, episode 12. Next week, like I said before, will be a feature length episode where we'll finish up Alderaan and then whatever else it asks me to do in chapter 1. So, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time, and a farewell to you.